Today your job is to create a hieroglyphic border, add background images, create a cartouche, and then color. You'll find out what that means in this video. Alright, so the next step that we're going to work on today is you adding things into the background and creating a border. Alright, so if you look through the packet, I know some of you have already discovered these things, um, but I wanted to talk about them a little bit more. Um, there's some other symbols that you can add um, to your project. So for example, if you want to pick where this person is from, all right, there's a lot of options for that. You could add that in somewhere in on the background. <clears throat> there's also a bunch of hieroglyphics. Now the hieroglyphics, I would use those to create some sort of border that tells a little bit about this person. All right, so for example, if I want to create that border and tell about this person, I would look through all the symbols and let's see, first one I think I'm going to use is the, this eye, okay, the eye of Horus, I believe, and I'm going to draw that, right, that means the sound or restored one used for protection against evil. So I want to make sure this guy is protected from evil. So I'm going to draw the eye of Horus. Okay, then I'm gonna pick some other ones, okay? So I could be, I could use the staff or the scepter, meaning power, or I could do another protection symbol or a stability symbol. But what you're gonna do is you're gonna pick a couple different hieroglyphics, ones that you, you know, really identify with, and you're gonna create a pattern that goes all the way around your border. So it'll look something like this. All right, so once you finish your border, then you can add some stuff into the background, like maybe a pyramid or a cat or a snake. So you can take a look in here and you could use, you could maybe draw a cobra saying that they're from Lower Egypt. Maybe you could draw a pyramid in the background so that starts like a regular triangle. And then you're almost making like a short diamond down at the bottom and then draw a line and you can add diagonal lines to make it look three dimensional and to make it look like it has those steps on it. <clears throat> Maybe if you wanted to, you could add the sun because it's pretty sunny in Egypt. Up to you. Somewhere on here, though, you also need to have this thing. It's called a cartouche. And since the late 18th century, that's how long it's been called a cartouche, but it's basically. Um, where you put the name 
of your person. So you're gonna draw a cartouche, make it nice and big because you're gonna have to fit some hieroglyphics in there, okay? So I think I'm gonna choose, I'm gonna put mine right here. You can put yours wherever it fits, but I'm gonna draw the cartouche. Again, we draw lightly in case we make a mistake so we can erase. And then you could put your name in there, you could put this person's name in there, it's up to you. Um, I'll do mine, just as an example. All right, then when you're all finished with that, add color. All right, so I would say you can use either crayons or colored pencils, and if you want, kind of like we did for our Native American radial designs, you can use some marker to add accents, right? So to outline and to maybe color in some very, very small shapes, but we're not using marker to color the entire thing. Remember, it's just for like small parts or for outlining, all right? <coughs> <coughs> so, make your hieroglyphic border, add some background things, and add a cartouche with this guy's name, and you can even add in your name if you want into the cartouche, if this is you in Egyptian style. It's up to you. After you've colored in your background stuff, your hieroglyphics, and your cartouche then choose a background color and try your best to color it in as best as you can as nicely and neatly like a number four on the craftsmanship poster just like we colored in our person all right so materials masters you're gonna pass out the packets the artwork and the pencils everyone else go back to your seats